Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Gunner Sergeant Bush, the Assistant Marine Officer Instructor for the Naval Reserve Officer Training Corps Unit in the Atlanta region. On behalf of Captain Patrick Fahey, Commanding Officer of NROTC Unit, Atlanta region, it is a pleasure to welcome you to the December 2019 commissioning ceremony. Today's ceremony represents a point in our commissioning's life when he is going to be charged with a sacred responsibility of exercising special trust and judgment, which will ultimately affect the very lives of all men and women under his charge. This commissioning ceremony marks the culmination of many years of hard work, sacrifice, and dedication on the part of the commissioning officer. It is the end of one chapter and the beginning of another in his long journey and, ch and challenging journey. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the entrance of the official party and remain standing for the playing of the national anthem and invocation. Commanding Officer, Naval Reserve Officer Training Corps Unit, Atlanta Region, arriving. <laughs> Executive Officer, Naval Reserve Officer Training Corps Unit, Atlanta Region, arriving. Marine Officer Instructor, Naval Reserve Officer Training Corps Unit, Atlanta Region, arriving. <laughs> Commissioning, arriving. Please remain standing as Midshipman Second Class Maldonado delivers the invocation. Let us pray. God, as we gather here today to celebrate the commissioning of Bobby Park as a Marine Corps officer, our hearts are filled with happiness for him and his whole family. You have prepared him for this day. You have equipped him with the abilities of the mind, body, and spirit more than equal to the task. You have you gave him leaders, mentors, and peers to help him along the way. You sustained him and protected him in days of difficulty and days of success. We ask that you direct his steps and give him strength to carry, and give him strength to carry out his new responsibilities. Endow him with the spirit of wisdom and justice. We recognize that the work which lies before us is demanding and complex. Yet we thank you for calling us to this difficult and rewarding work. Please give Bobby Park health and success in the future as an officer. In your name, we pray. Amen. Please take your seats. We are honored today to have Captain Fahey, Commanding Officer 
of NROTC Atlanta Region as the presiding officer for today's ceremony. Also with us today are the family and friends of Midshipman Park. Finally, we are pleased to extend a special welcome to all of our distinguished visitors, including the family and friends of our December 2019 commissionee. I would also like to take a moment to recognize the former and current military service members in our audience. We would be honored if you would please stand. Thank you for your honorable service. Please be seated. As we look forward to the future, let us not forget our past. Remember those who we have lost in the line of duty who gave the ultimate sacrifice for our safety and way of life. Let us observe a moment of silence as we remember and honor their service. Thank you. I now present Captain Fahey, Commanding Officer of Naval Reserve Officer Training Corps Unit, Atlanta Region. All right, well, what a, what a fine morning. I, I welcome everyone to this uh, glorious occasion. Uh, I would like you to all believe that every day is a holiday and every meal is a banquet here, but you know, there are challenging days that the midshipmen go through, and that's why, make, uh, why, why days like today are so special. Uh, this is a, a culmination of many years of uh, hard work for Bobby, and it's wonderful that we can all spend time on these uh, special days recognizing him and sending him off for the, uh, for the next adventure. Um, so I, I welcome uh, James and Sylvia. It's wonderful that you could be here today. Um, we, we talk often in this unit about uh, individual accomplishments, and we're certainly here today to celebrate an individual accomplishment. However, Bobby knows, uh, like, like everyone that serves in the unit and serves in uniform, uh, that while he's very proud of what he has accomplished, none of it would have been possible without teamwork. And that team is the family at home, mom and dad, that's where it all started. That's why he's here today, his extended family, his, uh, his friends, his fellow midshipmen who are here today, uh, his faith, his church and pastors, He's proud of what he's accomplished, but he knows that he uh, owes that to, to the teamwork and the support that he's received over the years. So um, I know he'll always, uh, he's a confident, uh, soon to be uh, officer. However, he will always remain humble as he thinks about those beginnings. Um, as you hear the oath today, when we do these, these uh, very special ceremonies, and we, we all love these, these type of events because we do get to uh, recognize the hard work, but as you hear the, uh, the oath today, um, it always gives me chills, you know, just like hearing the national anthem when I hear the oath administered to someone. Uh, because um, what's special about our oath, obviously, is that we're taking an oath to the Constitution. It's not an oath to a king or a queen or a committee or a group, you know, group of people. It's not to a person, but it's an oath to an idea, and that's what makes it uh, so meaningful. As a matter of fact, the Congress, when they um, uh, you know, first met even back in uh, 1789, the, the first act of the first Congress, the first chapter, is to regulate and administer oaths. And they talked about how they wanted to make sure that no one had to swear allegiance to a person like a king, because that's what we were obviously uh, uh, you know, fleeing and tried, trying to, um, to make ourselves better. So it, it has a lot of meaning. It's, the oath, of course, has changed over the years. As you hear it today, um, you know, you'll, you'll hear some uh, phrases in there. It's, uh, it's pretty close to what it originally started, uh, started out with. Interestingly, uh, right before the Civil War, the phrase, um, you know, we always talk about uh, supporting the Constitution, but it was added support and defend the Constitution. And also the phrase against all enemies foreign and domestic, foreign and domestic was added. Uh, but since then, it's been more or less the same, the, uh, the oath. So, you know, throughout these, these uh, scores of, of years, these uh, centuries, what you're going to hear today is pretty similar to what everyone in uniform has been uh, taking as an oath. Um, uh, the 
you know, an, another reason I think it has a lot of meaning, you know, specifically for us today, 